Hello, hello, hello. Tanya's to roll. Come on in, babies. Have a seat. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We got a new deck we're going to play with today. This is the Urban Divine Masters Truth deck. So we're going to find out what Divine Masters Truths are at this time. Okay, how is Divine Master feeling about Divine Fem? Gonna find out what his truths are. What he's saying and what he's not saying. Okay, so one more shuffle for the collective. If you are new here, babies, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Come on in. I missed you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. All my information is down below. To book a personal, leave a tip, buy a product. Thank you, thank you, thank you in advance. And thank you to those who have already booked, bought, or left a tip or donation. It is greatly appreciated. In the name of the Mother, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, so we're going to see what's going on with the Divine Masculine when it comes to the collective. What does the collective need to know right now? Okay. So the Divine Master feels like they're running out of time. 8 o'clock may be significant. Um... Because I was drawn to the time before I was drawn to the message. So something may be happening by 8, 8, I keep hearing 8 p.m., 8 p.m. maybe tonight or at 8 o'clock. But this person is feeling like they're running out of time. What else is going on with Divine Masculine? Yeah, Divine Masculine says, I'm torn. I don't recognize the man I have become. So Divine Masculine is, is, is trying to figure out what's going on. He's torn. He's in this confusion right now. He knows that he's running out of time. He has to make some type of move. Something needs to be done. Tell me more about what's going on with Divine Masculine. Yeah, Divine Masculine. He's popping out here. <laughs> so he's letting us know he's up in here. So Divine Masculine is here. I'm going to put him at the top since he popped out. Okay. Let's see. But he, he is in this confusion. He is torn. I feel like he's leaving his old ways behind and, and becoming this new person. And he's stuck between his 3D self and his 5D self. Um, Divine Master says, I am, I'm ready to stop hiding from you. So Divine Master is now ready to stop hiding from you. So whatever this confusion was, I do feel like he is coming out of it. Whatever had him torn, he is finally making a conscious decision here. Tell me more about what's going on with Divine Masculine. That's too many. One at a time. What else is going on? Okay, so Divine Masculine is, is in a lot of pain right now. I feel so much pain. So he's hurting. He's hurting. But he is single and getting ready for you. His Divine Feminine, okay? So whatever was, was causing him pain, whatever had him torn... I do feel like he is trying to come out of that because he no longer wants to hide from you. Yeah, he, Divine Master has been watching you from a distance, okay? He has been watching you from a distance here. Tell me more. Yeah, but he's been doing the shadow work. He's doing the shadow work because he knows he's running out of time and Divine Master doesn't want to lose you. Yeah. It says, you brighten my world. I love you. Divine Masculine loves you, Divine Fam. So they're doing the shadow work at this time because they don't want to lose you. They're getting ready for you. Yeah. The way you carry yourself is so attractive to them. Okay, so this person, Divine Masculine, finds you very attractive here. And they're ready to come out of hiding from you. They're ready to tell you the truth. They're no longer torn. Okay? They know that they love you and that you brighten up their world. They're doing the shadow work. They could be missing you. They could be hurting. What's this? Tell me more about Divine Masculine. What's this? I'm so in, feel, feel so much pain. Yeah, so Divine Masculine is in pain because he can't figure you out. Okay, Divine Fem. Can't figure you out. Give me one more for Divine Masculine. Yes. Says thoughts of you grow stronger every day. I can't stop thinking of you. So Divine Master can't get you out of his mind. He is single. He's getting ready for you to come towards you because he wants this connection, Divine Feminine. Bottom of the deck, I'm going crazy without you. So Divine Master is going crazy without you. He knows he's out of time. Okay. He was torn. He couldn't recognize. 
who he was becoming. Okay. We're going to see if we can get some clarity on that. He has done the shadow work or he is in the process of doing the shadow work here. He's feeling a lot of pain though. We're going to see what's going on. See if we can get a little bit more clarity here. Okay, Spirit. So can you tell us why um, Divine Masculine was torn? Why he doesn't recognize the man he 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 had become? What was going on with Divine Masculine? Clarify I'm torn. I don't recognize the man I become. Because huh, he was out here being a freak in the sheets and a whore on the floor. And fucking everybody. Ooh, baby, can I have it raw? He was just out here doing the most. This why. Because he out here doing the most. He was just being a hoe. Little freaky freak. He knows the life he was living. There could have been some type of blood magic indicated here. But he knows the type of life that he was living. He didn't like who he was becoming. Tell me why he feels so much pain. Why is Divine Masculine in so much pain? Because he was fucking with a sneaky bitch. That third party karmic. That karmic fucked him up. Now his ass in pain. She could have burned him. <laughs> That's not funny. I'm not laughing. What happened between Divine Masculine and the sneaky bitch? Why is he in so much pain? What happened between Divine Master and the sneaky bitch? Why is he in so much pain? Did she beat him up? It says, eat the cake, anime. He he has Ike in him. So, did she beat him up? She been abusive? This sneaky bitch was being abusive to him? Ah, oh, shit. That's why he in pain. He got beat up by the bitch. Tell me more about why Divine Master is in so much pain. When it comes to this sneaky bitch. Did she have him set up? She could have maybe had him set up. Somebody jumped him. He feeling guilty. This motherfucker. Oh, she burned him. Told you he healing from an STD. She burned him. So he feeling stupid because he fucked around with this bitch. This whore on the floor. And fucked her neck. I mean, fucked her neck. And fucked her raw. Ended up catching the STD from this sneaky ass bitch right here. She was abusive and shit. Now he feel guilty. He over here trying to drown in all his sorrow in alcohol and shit. Because there was an STD. He healed it from the STD though. Yeah. And, and, and he feels stupid because this bitch was over here fake flexing. And this bitch was broke as a bag of glass in the trash. He went towards this motherfucker. He is hurt because he went towards this motherfucker because he thought this motherfucker had some money. Now he is sitting over here because he ended up fucking around with an abusive alcoholic motherfucker that gave him a fucking STD that he is now healing from. This is why. This, this is exactly why he didn't recognize who the fuck he had become. Now he over here, look, reading the Bible and shit, being single and shit. I'm single getting ready for, for you, my divine fam. So he is released Whoever this third party is, healing from he's healing from the STD. Okay, at least he's healing from it. Whoever this person was, they could have told this person to get an abortion if they were pregnant. The person could have lost the baby. Okay. Tell me about this shadow work here. Yeah, so um while your divine master has been doing the shadow work, he has been watching you though. Watching your every move, tracking, tracking your moves, trying to see what you got going on, trying to see if you got somebody else here, Divine Fam. Tell me more about this shadow work. Yeah, because everybody talking. So he's working on his, on his shadow work because everybody talking about the bad decisions <laughs> your Divine Masculine made. Now he's sitting back watching you and shit. Give me one more for the shadow work for this Divine Masculine. Yeah, so I do feel like this um, Divine Masculine is releasing whatever outdated thinking his motherfucking ass might have had. Because now he's submerged with guilt for what, what he did to you. Divine Fam, yeah. Now he, now he all up in his head because he know he fucked up. He submerged with guilt all in his head because he know he fucked up. And everybody talking about the motherfucking badass choices and decisions this motherfucker made. Because he was stuck in his fucking outdated thinking. And being stuck in his fucking outdated thinking. Laid him right over here to this fucking whore that was fucking everything. Okay? Freaking the sheets of whore on the floor. Mattress sex back kitchen that's fucking everything raw. Ooh baby can I have it raw. His stupid ass fucked it raw. And fucked around and ended up with a motherfucking STD. 
Now he trying to heal this shit. He better be happy it's curable and shit, okay? And feeling guilty, drinking over here and shit. This bitch is over here getting drunk and beating him up and shit. Clarify, I can't figure you out. Yeah, this motherfucker. Look, there go. Look, this is a whole different deck, but it's that same damn card. In this particular deck, it say, I'm torn. I don't recognize the man I have become. And in this deck, it say, the many faces of fuckery. Yeah, this motherfucker couldn't figure out this motherfucker because they, they was two faces switching up on their asses. They couldn't figure out the karmic. This bitch did them dirty. Now this motherfucker got nothing but a bunch of fucking regrets. The Ryan Master is in regret. Now he feeling stupid talking about I, I should have seen the red flags. Motherfucker. I'm sorry. Mm-mm, Yeah, they caught this karmic cheating. The karmic got caught cheating. Because they brought the karmic, the karmic brought them back a motherfucking STD. This karmic was using mind fuckery on the divine masculine. Yeah, and motherfucking sexual magic. Ta tantric, lustful, animalistic, sexual desires. That's how your person got caught up, and that's why your your pee pee was burning. Is that it? When it comes to this divine masculine. Yeah. This motherfucker is sending hate messages now. Or this motherfucker think you hate them. Divine feel. They have a lot of regret. They feel like you hate them. Or are you not fucking with them? Because they were using mind fuckery. They played games with your mind as well. And they got they got mind fucked. Okay, some of them could be closet sneaky too. Ashamed that they like penis or they uh the same <laughs> this is masculine energy. They ashamed they like penis, okay y'all? Some of them like penis. Some of you guys could have been in the same sex fem female inner um same sex female um relationship, right? And the masculine energy in the connection like penis, like men too, okay? And somebody that fucked around was fake love straight up to their face, another damn baby that was trying to get pregnant. They were showing fake love up to their face while they were trying to get pregnant. And they was fucking around, sneaking around with other motherfuckers. Yeah, they were dealing with a manipulator. And now they're trying to keep their distance from this karmic. Please keep your distance because you're a fuck boy, fuck girl alert. Yeah, now they they now they mad at the motherfucking karmic. Yeah, now they now they trapped bondage mentally from the fucked up shit they did. Now they feeling like the victim. They all trapped in their head because you not fucking with them. You, you blocked their asses and now they feeling neglected and shit. But with this karmic, it was a bunch of constant karmic drama. Divine Masculine is, yeah, is going through it right now. Okay? Let me see. One final. This deck here. Okay, tell me what's going on with this Divine Masculine. What's going on with the Divine Masculine? The truth about the Divine Masculine. The truth about the Divine Masculine. The truth about the Divine Masculine. Okay, so Divine Masculine sees you over here, Divine Femme, staying positive, working hard, and making it happen. Okay, you over here in your, your boss mode. Tell me more about how Divine Masculine is feeling. Yeah. Divine Masculine wants to come towards you, Divine Feminine, be a good man. Or a good woman if um this is a woman. Still energy, masculine energy. Yeah. Divine Masculine knows the decision is up to you, but they do want to come back towards you and they're hoping that that you accept them in here. <laughs> um, they're gonna come tell you that this this karmic tried to trap them with terms and conditions. Okay. They're going to also tell you there could have been a same-sex relationship here. For some of you guys, this is a same-sex relationship. And like I said, the other person was um, into the opposite sex, even though they were in a same-sex relationship. Somebody in a same-sex relationship could have been trying to trap your person. You know what I'm saying? Somebody could have been trying to trap your person in a same-sex relationship. 
They could have been trying to blackmail him. Yeah, this is a shock. Some, some shocking news came out. Somebody could have found out about there being a same-sex relationship. Your person could have found out the person that was trying to trap them was in a relationship, uh, another relationship with the same sex. It's different for everybody, okay? Tell me more about Divine Masculine. Yeah, he wants to come back towards you, Divine Feminine, because he sees, he sees you as a spiritual connection here and as his soulmate with a good mother, a good mother and a good man here. If you have children, he sees you as a good mother. Um, if you don't, he wants to have children with you because he feels like you will be a good mother here. Yeah, he knows that you're guarded, Divine Femme. I do feel like whatever terms and conditions you come with for Divine Master to come back, you know what I'm saying? Um, so you'll let your guard down. I do feel like he will do whatever at this point because he is done with this third party. It was a toxic-ass relationship. And he knows you're guarded because he tried to put you in this toxic-ass relationship. He was like, fuck this divine film. He wasn't playing with this shit. I do feel like divine film, you could have been talking to your friends about this connection. And they're like, he a lame, but I like y'all together. Okay? He... Anything else when it comes to my divine masculine here? Yeah, they were drowning. Okay, you could have walked away because you felt like you were drowning. Not enough give and take in this relationship. It wasn't enough give and take in this third party. And it wasn't enough give and take when it was you and your divine masculine. But now they're coming back to you, divine fin. They want to know, can they come through, boo? They see you shining. They see you doing your shit. Whether you um African American or not, okay? Man or woman, they see you doing your shit. And they want to come through. Because you shining. I get big mad. Should have never did that. Get back. Back to feeling right for a minute. in my bag. In my feelings. I'm a bad little bitch and all. Huh. I'm triggered. Okay. Divine film is triggered. <laughs> triggered. This could be how Divine Masculine is feeling about this karmic. They triggered. Triggered. Yeah, because this shit was toxic. Okay. So this is this is not Divine Feminine energy. This is Divine Masculine energy towards that karmic though. You need to stay out of my way. Look, right as I said, it's spying. There's something about you that triggers me. The karmic. This motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. They said, Divine Femme, every party you touch my soul. Divine Master said, Karmic, you need to stay out of their way. Okay? Because they triggered you. You need to stay the fuck up out their way. Go on somewhere, Karmic. Divine Master not playing with you no more. Okay, so I'll put one final card. For how Divine Masculine is feeling about uh, Divine Femme and this connection. And then we'll close it out. We'll get one Romance Angel. Any advice for this connection when it comes to Divine Masculine and Divine Femme? Thank you. In the name of the Mother, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I do need to jump. There we go. And Spirit says, you deserve love. You are lovable. Divine Masculine knows, Divine Femme, that you deserve love. And they finna come give you this love. Divine Masculine wants to come be a good man or a good woman to you, depending on whether you're the man or the woman. It's energy, my loves, okay? Because there's a spiritual connection. And they finna come make this right with you. They already said, boo, can I come through? Okay? Because it's a passionate connection. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So if this resonated with you, let me know down in the comment section, babies. Um, if you'd like to book a person to know if this is your Divine Masculine coming back, um, all my information is down below, okay? So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And as always, my loves, you keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. Love, light, and peace. Mwah! Bye, my TT babies.